even when we get sex robots, we're still going to have a very strong drive to have a girlfriend and take her out with our friends or have her meet our parents or take her to the movies or have a nice romantic dinner. So that's why I'm slightly less worried that we'll have a takeover of, you know, chatbots or robots. Without consciousness, without something like sentience, something powerfully is missing. I mean, put it this way, you and I are talking right now and we're talking because we both chose to be here. And when I get, I'm going to get a, getting together with some friends tonight for drinks, and we will all have chosen each other's company. And there's something to that. There's something to the idea of dealing with people who are there. And when I, if I tell them something funny, they might laugh. And if they, they, you know, they're, they're, they disapprove of me, I'll, my feelings will be hurt. If it's an artificial machine, you don't get any of that. My, my, my chatbot does not choose to be with me. It's just designed to do so. It's, it's no more satisfying than when my light goes on when I flip the switch. Isn't there something that makes that so much less valuable? They're they're slaves. They're, they have no they have no choice in the matter. They are they are constructed to um you know uh, unless unless you tell it to, it will always be available. It will always answer your questions. Mm-hmm.